Delta Burke. For years, she's been making us laugh, but when her sitcom got serious, network censors got out the scissors. We've got the scenes Delta was forced to leave on the cutting room floor, uncut and uncensored. I personally prefer the kind of movies where dog collars are worn by dogs, not women, and a man might break your heart, but never your neck. I always notice at the end of those Black Stallion and Flipper movies, they have a little card that says no animals were hurt or exploited in the making of this film. I guess they don't have one of those cards for women. The violence you are watching is no joke. These brutalities have been shown on television for years, and now some of Hollywood's biggest actresses have stepped forward to denounce the butchering and battering of women in the media. They are doing it under the guise of a sitcom, Delta Burke's Women of the House. But at some point, it has to stop, because it's just plain wrong. But these disturbing scenes won't be seen next week when CBS airs the sitcom. The network kept the jokes, but cut the violence. We think it's a powerful episode, and, and we think it's been diluted. In this episode of Women of the House, Delta plays a congresswoman assigned to a committee investigating violence against women in the media. The show uses humor to drive home this serious message. After all the beatings, rapings, and killings over the last 2,000 years, you men would have to be thrilled that we're even still speaking to you. But some scenes are so graphic, CBS decided not to air them. And that's not surprising in the wake of recent protests against TV violence. Hard Copy has exclusively obtained an uncut version of the show written by Linda Bloodworth Thomason. Some of the scenes recreated are too graphic even for Hard Copy. It's violent. It makes a point. It makes a statement about how women are treated on television. And uh, when we see like Miss Teen USA pageant that was on that same network last week where they've got... 15, 16, 17 year old girls running around in bikinis, we think that's what's obscene. I think that the final segment was a real tough indictment of the film industry and television. And I guess it was just too much for uh, the network executives to put on. I've played a woman who's stalked, a woman who's raped, a woman who's kidnapped, carjacked, hijacked, and skyjacked, and frankly, I mean, I'm exhausted. But is a sitcom the right forum to discuss TV violence? Delta's producers think so. Comedy can make a powerful social statement. We think uh, half our comedy should be educational. CBS doesn't agree. The network told Hard Copy the decision to cut the scenes was not taken lightly, but ultimately they were too violent and inappropriate to air so early in the evening. The truth is too powerful to put on prime time, I think says something about the brutality of this violence towards women in the films. For years, media critics have said there is a direct link between violence in the media and violence in real life. Recent Justice Department statistics reveal that more than 4.5 million women are victimized by crime every year. Violence against women is the number one cause of injury to women in this country. It makes a point, and it makes a point for all women in the U.S. That episode of Delta Show airs next Friday night. One minute of video. The CBS censors wouldn't let you watch it. If a man gets killed, it's in the line of duty. But Lifetime Television will. If a woman gets killed, it's in her underwear. In a never-before-aired episode of Women of the House. It's hurting your wives, your girlfriends, your mothers, sisters, daughters. Pictures that must be seen. Nice girls finish last. A show you won't forget. It has to stop. Tonight at 10, only on Lifetime Television for Women. past decade in the industry in particular to me I think women have just gone steadily downhill um, in movies and on television I look back to the 30s and 40s uh, the great movies with the so-called big shouldered broads the Joan Crawford's and the Betty Davises um, and they were so inspirational and they were so much closer to the kind of women who I know and respect in my life so I wanted to maybe uh, in some small way you can't do that much with one little show but we wanted to say uh, enough is enough. There are hundreds of women who are willing to take these parts. These parts that demean and degrade and gratuitously exploit women and humiliate them. And they're willing to take them. And they come out and they say, well, it's a feminist choice. You know, being a feminist is about choice. And it's not just about choice. It's about responsible choice. This is not about feminism, it's not about women's rights, it's about human rights. 
It's about every human being's right not to be humiliated, exploited, gratuitously murdered, and demeaned before millions of people. Well, my fantasy would be that it would be like a Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> And the lifetime switchboards would light up and women would say, we're mad as heck and we're not going to take it anymore. And, um, yeah, I would love that kind of response. I have no illusions about that happening. But I do think that the greatest thing next to that would be to get women talking on Monday morning in their offices and, you know, wherever women gather. Uh, and it, to get them talking about it and saying, you know, that's right. I saw such and such a movie and I was offended by it. And to start taking action. Hi, I'm Delta Burke. Tonight, Lifetime presents a very special event. It's a whole evening of favorite episodes of Women of the House. Some of them have never been seen before, and one of them the CBS censors didn't want you to see. But Lifetime wants you to see it because they think it's important. And I think it's important. It's certainly more important than the lost pages of a senator's diary, and it's far more entertaining. So, sit back, hold tight, and watch me as I take on Congress and the world during a whole evening of Women of the House, coming up next here on Lifetime, television for women. Coming up next is a great episode of Women of the House. You know, Congress is full of men, but most of them are kind of drab and dreary. So when my staff and I visit Alaska, we find a bunch of men who know how to do more than just talk. Women of the House, next on Lifetime. Women of the House is coming up next. It's my favorite because Meshach Taylor, who played Anthony on Designing Women, he comes on, and it's Anthony and Suzanne together again, and I love the man personally, and he's on. Okay, watch. Next is one of my favorite episodes of Women of the House. I learn a little bit about the politics of love and congressional ethics when I visit a distinguished colleague of mine in jail. Women of the House, next on Lifetime. Coming up next is a very powerful episode of Women of the House, one which CBS censors didn't want you to see. It deals with a tough subject, violence against women, and it's important for you to watch. Right here on Lifetime, television for women. <laughs> 